Yeah, hello lovely viewers, I welcome you to all my days and please if today be the first time you are visiting the channel you kindly subscribe, you like, then you share and in today's episode we are going to learn how we can remove the background of this picture using pen tool using pen tool okay how we can remove this background using this pen tool so first of all this is my image so I'll select the pen tool okay then I'll zoom it okay then you come here you take path okay take path then you click once see I've released my hand I've removed my hand then you click the next one you have to give it a short distance okay and you need to zoom your image okay then you click again this time around you not remove your hand from the bottom of your mouse you're still holding down the bottom of your mouse then you control it you can control it anyhow my hand is on the bottom of my mouse okay at the right uh, left click okay at the left bottom of my hand my hand is still on then I'll control it to take the shape of the image I remove my hand then I press my 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 hand on the alt key on the keyboard then I'll make sure I'll click on this knob okay to cut then I'll give the next one okay then I click by pressing my hand on the uh, alt to cut so I'll repeat the process okay okay you press your hand on the knob on the alt key to cut okay you repeat the process okay you repeat the process this one the picture is not sharp so it's pixelated you repeat the process okay you repeat the process okay yeah okay you press your hand on the alt then you click to cut okay they are good you repeat the process okay we have many ways to remove a, a picture background by this one using the pen tool okay yeah you repeat the process okay you click you know remove your hand then you make sure you take the shape of the image okay then you click okay then you click okay yes you repeat the process here still remains on my desk we are learning how we can remove a picture background using the pen tool okay okay yes okay and you continue like that okay When the picture is not sharp, I mean you have to cut within the image a bit. When you zoom it, you have to cut within it. It shouldn't be outside here like this. Okay, it shouldn't be outside here. As when you finish, you see a greenish uh, outline around your image. So you have to cut within the image a bit. Okay, because it's pixelated and it is zoomed. Okay, yeah, you continue. Okay, you click. Put your hand on the alt to cut okay you click and you see as soon as you put your hand on the alt see that small dash sign okay on the pen but as soon as you put your hand on the alt it will change see to this sign to that arrow it means it's ready to cut then you cut okay 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 you can see it Okay. When you when you put a point at a wrong place, you can go to edit, step backward to delete it. Okay. Yeah. You repeat the process. You repeat the process. Okay. Yeah. It's very nice and it's very easy to use. It's a bit tedious and uh, sluggish, but it's very nice the outcome and the results is very nice okay but when you get to a place where it is very close you can just uh, make the dot without putting your hand on the what do you call it on the 
ought to cut it okay you can just continue okay good when you give it a distance then you put your hand on the ought to cut it okay yeah so you continue like that it's very nice here still remains on my desk we are learning how we can remove a background of an image okay using the pen tool okay okay so mm -hmm. can you come back here okay you repeat the process here here is very straight okay so i can give you a next dot all the way from this place to this place okay so i'll click once okay then i'll continue my journey yeah. continue okay here still remains on my desk This one you come and you are new, you kindly subscribe, then you like. And if you have any comment too, then you drop it under the comment section. Okay, here yeah, is very short, so I can just continue giving it that short, short, just a uh, short, short distance. Yeah, now you continue like that. So you continue till you meet where you started. Okay, where you started from, uh, this movement. Yeah. Continue like that. Continue like that. Yeah. I'll make a wrong so I have to come to edit. Step backward. Click again. Again. okay and let's say if you have put the pen at the wrong place either you go to step backward by go by going to edit or you can use the four arrows on your keyboard to just control it like this you see yeah this one i'm using the right arrow and this is left arrow i can go up with the up arrow and the down arrow okay just to position it well okay then before you cut continue Okay. Yeah. If you start using this pen tool, you become very conversant with the pen tool, okay? And if you if if you practice by using this pen image, it becomes easy for you because we use the same pen to draw any shape at Photoshop. So if you start using and it become very conversant with the tool, it will be easy for you. So far as Photoshop is concerned, okay. So let's continue. On. Cut. See now, I've, I've, I've come back to where I started. So you just click in that box that you created there. Okay, that square box. When you come back to where you started, you come to meet where you started. You click inside that box. Okay, good. And look at something. You see this dotted. Okay, all the movement that I made, all the dotted that I made here. As soon as you click inside, or as soon as the line meets. Okay. And you click inside all the dots will disappear look at it you see all of them have disappeared so right now you see that thing okay that thing there 
that path you see the path that i created okay yeah it's there so when you finish like this okay you click on pick two okay you click on pick two then you come on to your keyboard then you press control enter okay you press control enter control enter okay control enter now when you press control enter you see it has selected you see all the movement all the path that are made around the image all is selected okay you can just move it straight like this okay good but it depends this one i can just move it straight to uh, another place okay yeah but the edges that are you that you made it might look so sharp it might look so sharp so you have to feather it for it to be like a smooth like a blending with any background that you put this image on so you have to redefine the edges so when you finish like this you come to select redefine edge okay you see this dialog box will decide or appear you see the dialog box they come to feather so look at the edges of the image very well okay so you feather you see let me zoom in so that you will see it well let me zoom it come to select redefine edge look at here very well look at the edges very well you see you see it's becoming it's becoming smooth have you seen have you seen but it shouldn't be too much okay and the size that you give here depends on the quality or the size of the image okay yeah the number or yeah the number that you give at the feather depends on the quality or the size of the image sometimes the image is too small so if it's too small you have to give it a small if it's too big you have to i mean give it a big feather okay so i think this one is it's okay yeah it's okay now when you finish you click on okay good so you want to come to file go to new okay then the page that i'm open is it transparent it does it have a background or i want transparent background so we click on transparent okay then the size it depends on you which size you want to choose so you can also name it but i just want a page a transparent page so i'll click on okay you see this one so you come here you click on pick to then you click on the image then you drag it to this place okay good have you seen good now you can you can stretch it the last time i show you how you can you'll be able to stretch an image you put your hand on a shape then you hold any part or, or the four corners okay as for image stretching you can just hold here 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 and here in order not to distort the image that is for image stretching but for shape or anything you can just hold here okay good you can just hold anywhere good and you stretch it but for image in order to maintain the real size okay you just hold here by putting your hand on the shift either four corners one two three four any part and then you hold you stretch it okay good like this when you finish then you apply it here okay good now you can see the edge is very smooth and there are still small background here so repeat the process you take the pen okay then repeat the process that we did there okay okay yeah yeah repeat the process repeat the process here still remains on my desk please when you come then you like you share you comment Like this. Okay. When you finish the same thing, you, when you finish, you press Control Enter. Okay. Control Enter on your keyboard. Then you see the selection where I made that path. That place will be selected. When you press Control Enter on your keyboard, then you come to what we just did. You come here, redefine edge. Then that one too. You see, only the selected place will be revealed. Okay. So you just give it. Uh, feather okay you see the edges here when you finish you click on 
move to then you delete it okay you delete it then you come to select okay you see the selection here i want to remove that selection so you come to select then go to deselect okay good now your image is ready it's up to you or not whether you change the background or you do anything else it depends on you so i can draw my own background and take the rectangle to draw something like this okay then i come here and choose a nice background for it okay good then bring this one down here So I can just stretch it like this. Very nice one. Okay. Good. Good. But yes, so I can blend the background. Okay. I can blend the background. Or better so let me go to let me go to Google and search for a very nice background. Okay, I'll just come here, Google. Okay. Let me type beach. Okay. Beach. Beach background. Good. Good. So this one, I can click on this one and see. Uh, oh, let me see this one. And this one is working. Then I will just drag it. Okay. To Photoshop. Place it here. This is my image, okay, so I'll just drag this one here. Okay, and just tap and I'll release it. Then I position it well. Okay, good. And stretch it. Okay, and it depends because, because of perspective wise, the image has to be a bit smaller. Okay, good. this yeah and I can change this one the color so that to blend well uh, blend well now I click on this image okay the background that is the, this is the where uh, this is the lady this is the beach and this is the rectangle okay so I select the beach okay then I come and take um this eraser too. Okay, then you take the smooth one. You see, you have the hard one and the smooth one. This smooth, this smooth, this smooth. Any one that you take, I take this one. Okay, then I can increase the size a bit. Okay, okay, can increase the size. It's too much. Yeah, like this. Then I use to brush here so that it will blend with the background that I chose. Okay, good. So I can let this one go here. Okay, let it a bit. Okay, yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Let me blend this one with the main 
back and there. Okay, and just drag it on like this. So this one represents a, a, a ground on the ground. Okay, so this this one this one has to go behind this one. So I'll come here. I'll do this. Okay. So we have to blend this one a bit, okay? We have to blend the beach a bit so that the picture will be a bit uh, visible. Okay, good, good. Okay. Come blend this one also. So now we'll come to filter, blend Gaussian blend, okay? Yeah. So that the picture will stand out. Good. So as you can see, it's very nice one. Very nice one. Very nice one. Good. So you see? So viewers here ends today's tutorial how we can remove a picture background using the pen tool. Uh, please if you like this video kindly subscribe. If you like then you comment for more videos. And please here still remains on my desk. Thank you for your time and enjoy this tutorial. Bye bye.